Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are going to talk about what to do if your Amazon stuff is not selling. Let's say you paid a thousand bucks, five thousand bucks, or even more for some course that promises to tell you how to get rich selling stuff on Amazon. Say you write a book, you make some low content stuff, you do some KDP things, you do all this self publishing or whatever it is, and you sit and you wait. And you wait. And you're still waiting. And the sales just never seem to come. So, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk to you about why the Amazon gurus lied, what it means for you, and how to start getting sales. So, if you've been doing Amazon KDP, self publishing, you've been trying to do FBA, uh, fulfilled by Amazon, you're trying to do all this stuff on Amazon and nothing seems to work, you, my friend, are in the right place. But you got to smash that like button because we're going to get started here. Today, you are going to learn the missing piece of the puzzle. And even if you're not doing Amazon stuff, don't worry. This works with Amazon and with anything you're doing. This is a guaranteed way to sell stuff online. Very simple. So, if you are excited, let me know in the comments box, smash that like button, and let's dive in, because this is some important stuff that you need to learn about how to make money using platforms like Amazon and everything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look here at what we got. This, what you are going to learn today, even if you've bought other guys' courses, all right, they're going to come and thank me, because I'm going to show you how to make that course work. Right, The worst thing ever is to buy a course, do all the stuff, pack your garage with inventory, write your books, do all the work, and it doesn't work. So here's the deal. You bought their courses. You probably feel a little let down. You feel like the stuff doesn't work. But your old buddy Marcus here ain't going to ask you for a dime. I'm going to show you how to make this work in a real world way. I'm going to show you what to do if your stuff is not selling. So how many of you guys have tried selling on Amazon? Let me know in the comments below and type in the chat box there. Say, hey, Marcus, yeah, I tried this. Maybe low content books. Maybe I put some calendars up or whatever it is. And I just didn't get results. So this works for all of it. Amazon physical products, low content books, self-publishing. This is going to take the place of these courses because this is the stuff that the courses should teach. Like, instead, they're over there like, hey, here's how to put a product on Amazon. Yeah, okay, we can all learn that for free on the free videos that Amazon gives you when you log in to sell stuff, right? Yeah, we can do that. But this is the real deal. And I'm going to show you that this is the real deal. This here is a screenshot. This is a screenshot from 2012. Wow, Marcus, why are you showing me a screenshot from 2012 with some picture of a vitamin on it? Well, back in 2012, before one of the largest Amazon training courses came out. All right, you look at these gurus and they're like, I made 10 million with my Amazon course. These guys made like 100 million. All right, now I don't know if their course is good or not. Some of the reviews are kind of bad. But I do know that in 2012, before this course skyrocketed, the guy who started one of these courses came to me and said, Marcus, I got this product on Amazon. How do I sell it? And your old buddy Marcus showed him how to sell it. But this is the Amazon expert. And he came to your old buddy Marcus and said, how does this work? Now, if you want to watch that video, I'm going to put it on my site over at downloadmynotes.com. It'll be out later today. I just got to edit it because it was an MP. It was a FLV. So I got to change it up. But this guy came to me. And a lot of the people out there that sell stuff actually came to me to learn how to do it because he wouldn't have any success story if he didn't learn how to sell his stuff. So we got to look at this and we got to understand it because there's a lot of courses out there. $5,000, $10,000 Amazon courses. And this is the norm, right? This is the norm. I found this comment from this gal who said, I spent not only $5,000 on the course, but I also bought inventory. Right? She also bought inventory. And now she's got a garage full of junk. She's out five grand and she's got like five bazillion knife sharpeners in her garage because she can't sell them. This happens over and over and over again. 
People get excited. They try to build a business. They try to sell stuff. And then the tumbleweeds roll and nothing gets sold. So how many of you guys want me to teach you for free today what I taught this guy here that went on to be the Amazon super guru, right? I'll show you what this guy had. What I would do if I needed to sell 400 knife sharpeners, how to make this work with Amazon KDP, little books, how to make this work with low content books that Amazon ships, how to do this with physical products and more. This, what you're about to learn is super, super important. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk through this whole thing. We're going to show you how it works. And if you went out there and you, you feel like you got burned on some overpriced guru course, type overpriced gurus in the box because your old buddy Marcus is going to teach this stuff free. Why do I teach this free? Because I know if I teach this free and you're out there and you want to sell stuff, later on you're going to be like, Marcus, I want you to hold my hand and walk me through this. I want you to teach me this, right? And this lady here was like, I didn't know what to do. She didn't know what to do. She got burned. She's got a bad taste in her mouth because nothing seemed to work. And then later she's like, hey, anyone want a case of knife sharpeners? Because that's what I got and they didn't sell. So here's the deal. And here's the problem. All right, you got all these gurus, but they don't talk about when the rubber meets the road because here's the problem. Amazon promotes products that sell. We all know this. Amazon promotes, pro if product sells, Amazon promotes it, okay? Number two, your product doesn't sell. Okay, that kind of sucks because if my product doesn't sell, then Amazon don't promote it, which means I'm on page 186,000 of Amazon and nothing is selling. What do I do? What do I do? What if my product isn't selling? What do I do? Right? I see all these gurus on Amazon talking about low content books and KDP publishing and just write a book and you're going to get rich overnight. You don't got to do anything. Just write the book. Amazon is going to make you rich. Well, Amazon can make you rich, but a lot of people... Come on, come, come close. Listen, listen to your old buddy Marcus here. A lot of people got lucky. A lot of people got lucky. Th this would be the equivalent. If I went and bought a lottery ticket and won and sold you a course on how to buy lottery tickets and win. All right, well, do I have the Lamborghini? Yeah, I got the Lamborghini. Do I have the private jet? Yeah, I got the private jet. Do I have the house? Yeah, I got the house. So I put together a site and I say, hey, buddy. See my jet, see my Lambo, see my house. I got all that buying a lottery ticket, and now I'm going to show you how to do it. I can't teach that. It was luck. And a lot of these gurus got lucky once. They can't duplicate it, and then they go into teaching. So today, we're going to show you something that has passed the test of time. Something that I've been doing for 22 years. 22 years ago, people came to me with products and said, how do I sell this online? Today, people come to me with products and say, how do I sell this online? In fact, I actually put my money where my mouth is, and I actually bought a domain name of a business that couldn't sell something that I knew I can sell. We're going to talk about that in a minute. If you're excited for that, smash the like button, because we're going to get into the nitty gritty, and we need a lot more likes. You're telling me only 21 people like this so far? Come on, buddy. We're going to teach you the real deal. A lot of people need to learn this secret because the gurus leave it out. So here's the deal. What if my product is not selling? What if my product isn't selling? Like this girl up here trying to sell these knife sharpeners. All right, here's a guy down here who made two videos about knife sharpeners. One got 6.2 million views. One got 2 million views. So it's almost 10 million views for free. So we got to look at this. We've got to understand what's going on. Now, first of all, why would I do Amazon KDP why would I do Amazon FBA? Why would I list products on Amazon? Does anyone know the answer to this question? All right, we're going we're gonna to get real here, and we're going to start to understand this. So let's get the old whiteboard, and let's talk about why people would list on Amazon. All right, why 
sell on Amazon. Now, this is a big flaw that a lot of people struggle with. They say, well, I sell on Amazon because the guru told me to sell on Amazon. That's the reason I'm selling on Amazon. But they don't understand the real reason this stuff works. Now, number one, what most people are looking for when they sell on Amazon is built in traffic. Okay, most people want to go out there. They want to write a book. They want the traffic to come automatically and they want the traffic. That's the number one reason people sell on Amazon. Otherwise, you'd go put stuff on the search engines and you'd make it work, okay? The second reason, this is something people don't talk about. This is something you need to understand. The second is built in trust. All right, if I buy something from a third-party seller on Amazon, I'm like, okay, I'm backed by Amazon and, and it's Amazon and they're trustworthy because I can't go five feet without seeing an Amazon truck. So it can't be a scam, right? It's Amazon. It's, it's everywhere. Built-in trust. And then third, we got merchant account and built-in buyers. Okay? So here's the deal. I can go. I could set up a website. I need website software. I need to get traffic. I need to have a credit card machine or a, a, a credit card system or PayPal. I got to set all this stuff up. And then I got to go get traffic. And then I got to convince people that I'm trustworthy. And then I got to do all this. So Amazon has all these three things ready to go. But the problem is, is people go out there and they say, here's my book. My book. If you're doing Amazon KDP. Okay. You write your little book or whatever. Or maybe here is my low content book where we actually ship it, right? It's actually shipped by Amazon. It's automatic. Okay, pretty easy. That's another reason you can do Amazon. Like I can write a book, they print it and ship it to the guy and I get paid. I don't got to go to a publisher. I don't got to do anything. That's pretty cool. Or we can even do like a physical product. Let's say you're selling coffee mugs or something like that. This is called Amazon FBA. Okay, now all of these are good ways to make money. But the problem is, is people put this stuff up and they do all the work. Say, man, I found a zinger of a product. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to make this work. I got the coffee cup that says number one dad or whatever it is. Okay. And I'm going to sell this coffee cup because there's a lot of dads out there. I mean, it should sell. Father's Day's coming up. A lot of dads are going to want some coffee and they're going to put it in a cup. Unless they want to pour it on the ground, they need a cup. So I, there we go. It's a jackpot. But they put this up. And they find out that they get listed on page 1,287 of Amazon and they get zero sales, zero reviews, zero people looking at it. Which means this algorithm is never triggered. Problem. Amazon promotes products that sell. Okay. I got, a, I got my coffee cup. My product, my coffee cup is not selling. So Amazon doesn't promote it. So I did all this work. I got my low content books. I got my KDP. Got all this stuff. But I never get a sale because Amazon is not going to promote it. Because Amazon is in the business of making money. And in order to make money, they need to have products that sell. And what they're going to do is they're going to put the stuff that sells the most at the top. Plain and simple. So now there's two things you can do. Here you go. Well, Marcus, you know, there's solutions here. The gurus talk about it all the time. Solution number one is go niche. Go really niche. Instead of coffee cup for dad, let's do coffee cup. Like the other day, my wife bought me a coffee cup, uh, or actually not the other day. It was three years ago. She bought me a coffee cup that said how many days sober I was because I'm, I'm in sobriety. And she's like, okay, this will be for your five-year sober anniversary. I'll get you this coffee cup. And luckily, I still put coffee in it, which means I'm almost eight years sober today. If I put something else in it, it probably wouldn't be. But the old coffee does help me. All right. Or second, you can buy ads. Okay. Now, buying ads is kind of expensive because like when you're doing Amazon KDP or, or low content books or whatever it is, your profit margin isn't that great. So ads might not make sense. So you look at this and you're like, well, Marcus, I, I, guess, I guess I'm out. 
I guess Amazon is not going to work for me because I can't go that niche and I can't do this because everything's taken. So let's answer the question, what if my product isn't selling? And let me know in the comments below, smash a like button. Let me know in the chat box if you tried selling stuff online and it didn't work because we are going to solve that problem here today for free. All you got to do is stick around for the video. And after the video, you'll be like, oh man, Marcus, that old buddy Marcus taught me some good stuff there and I didn't even have to pay nothing. And now I can use that $2,000 course I back, bought a couple years ago and actually make it work. So here's what we got. What if my product isn't selling? Now, one of the tips I told you, people use Amazon for traffic and easy. That's why they use it. But there's another aspect where Amazon has trust. All right, like I go to Amazon, I click a little button and I buy something. It's called the one-click upsell. Amazon actually patented it. They're like, we patented it. All right, Sean says uh, he tried a children's book. Billionaire Quantum Leap says he tried to sell, but it didn't work. This is the story. There's thousands of you guys out there that are not getting sales. And I'm going to show you why and how to flip it around because here's the deal. I go to Amazon, I click one button, I can buy your product. I don't have to even know where my wallet is, which is good because half the time I don't, right? That is the key. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the products and we're gonna start to understand how this works, okay? So let's say we're like that lady. We're gonna do this lady a favor here, all right? This lady is sitting around with 400 knife sharpeners in her garage and she needs to sell them because if she doesn't sell them, then she's just got a bunch of money sitting around that doesn't do anything. And if she could sell them, then she'll probably order 400 more and build a business out of it. So why are people out there making a million dollars a month with a rubber duck selling business and this lady with knife sharpeners can't even sell her knife sharpeners, can't even discount them. Why is it not working? What are the gurus leaving out that you need to know? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about that. And the issue here is they don't tell you something important which is called, there we go, which is called Plan B. That's, well, that's a B. We'll make a better B. There we go. Plan B. Plan B is what to do if it doesn't sell, a.k.a. how to rig and trigger the Amazon algorithm in your favor. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here's how it works. You have your product. Let's say you got the knife sharpeners. Okay. Estelle says, is this just for physical goods? No. This works for low content books, Amazon Kindle, KDP, you name it. Anything you want to sell on Amazon, this is the key. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at our product. Okay. We're going to take a look at our product. So knife sharpeners actually gets a lot of searches online. Right, so knife sharpeners, uh, two point seven thousand a month. Best knife sharpeners, handheld knife sharpeners, knife sharpeners near me. Different brands, electric types for sale. Lots of people searching for knife sharpeners. Lots of people. There they are. They're searching for it. Here's another one because I found another. So we're gonna look at this. What if? What if I had a knife sharpener? All right, so let's go. Let me do this on a, on a different screen here. And we're going to go to Amazon.com. And we're going to do knife sharpener. All right. And this is magic. This is, you're going to be like, oh, my gosh. I wish the $5,000 course told me this. Maybe, just maybe, I should check out Marcus's courses. All right. The jokes are free. Okay, so check this out. We got knife sharpeners. All right, we got uh, this one here, uh, $19, $14. These all look the same. So like I could source these on uh, Alibaba. I can I could do whatever. So let's say you're like this lady and you got all these knife sharpeners in your garage and you can't sell them. Okay, now what most people are going to do 
is they're going to get their knife sharpener. They're going to put it on the Amazon. And they're going to be like, wait a minute. How come I'm not Amazon choice? How come I'm not bestseller? Why am I way down here on the bottom? Because look, I mean, how many of these are the exact same? There's like a thousand that are the exact same product. It just keeps going and going. Look at this, page seven. Keep going and going and going. And it's just you know, knife sharpeners till you're blue in the face. So what is it we're going to do? Well, let's take a little look here, okay? So let's say you got this one and you're pretty new, okay? And you're like, okay, uh, this is my knife sharpener here. Okay, you got a page. You're on Amazon. You're ready to take orders. It's an Amazon page that people trust. Okay, you with me so far? Type trust, smash a like button if you're with me. Okay, I could just click here and I could buy it right now. Very cool. Okay, and it's got a little discount there. Okay, so there we have this. We have this little page here. And this is the page we can link these people to. Boom, there it is. Well, let's get the right page. I think you need this little number here. There we go. I think that's it. There you go. Okay, so there's the page. So there's a link. There's the page. My sharpener's up. My book's up. Whatever it is. Let's say you're doing like a, a cat journal for cats that journal. Apparently cats journal. Actually, it's journals with pictures of cats on them. All right, let's say you got a, a cat composition book. All right, so there you go. You got the composition book. There it is. Okay, and you're out there and you're like, I'm not making any sales, but I'm on the Amazon I should be making sales. Marcus, please, buddy, show me how to rig the game in my favor. I need the favor of the Amazon. We're going to start being like a TV preacher. If you want the favor of the Amazon, what you got to do is listen to your old buddy Marcus. We're going to have fun here. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I got my product up. Okay. I got all this stuff done and I ain't making money. So I could go out there and I could start getting traffic for knife sharpeners, or I could show people how to cut stuff. Yeah, how to slice an onion, how to thinly slice an onion, how to slice onion, and you could teach people how to cut things. And guess what? Every video, like, you don't even have to be on camera. You go and you're like, here's how to cut an onion. And then you go, by the way, it's very dangerous to cut things with a dull knife. If you want a knife sharpener, you go and you get a domain called whateverknifesharpener.com and you tell them to go there. And they go and they see it on Amazon, which they trust. They got the buy now button, which they trust, and you make sales. Well, Marcus, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if this actually works. Marcus, I, I don't know. Can you show me an example? Please. Sure. This guy here on TikTok is called Ray the Sharpener. Wait, Ray the Ray the Sharpener? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. He literally sharpens knives. That's what he does. He's like, check it out. Here I am, sharpening knives. 8.5 million likes, 600,000 followers, and he just sharpens knives knives are you kidding me like do you guys see the the thing there like you don't even need your own website you just redirect your domain to your amazon listing bada bing bada boom you get some sales right and anyone can do this this is not hard to do here we go here's some stuff on the YouTube. So here's this guy. Here's YouTube. 6.5 million, 8 million, 637,000. You say, Marcus, all right, but what if I'm not like that lady? And you could do this many ways. You could set up a blog about knife sharpening or how to cut things, right? You know, how to slice, how to slice an onion, how to slice a tomato, how to slice whatever. And so we start to look at this and we're like, wait a minute. So you're telling me I can do this. Now, don't leave early. Stick around, watch the whole video, because when I get into the book method, you're going to go crazy. You're going to love it. It's, it's simple. You just go do it. Like, you're like, Margaret, what are the odds that I can make a sale? You just go do it. 
like you literally go do it. This guy out here is sharpening stuff and he gets sales. Now he's probably not salesman of the year, but if you learn uh, sales skills, you can make this work in a really simple way. Because for me, instead of just sending him to my knife sharpener thing, I'm going to say, get my free guide on how to slice vegetables or whatever it is. Right? Very simple. Adrian says, what? Just sharpening knives? Just find one thing and make a page about it? Simple. Exactly. And you don't even need a website. You put it on Amazon. There it is. Or maybe you're like that lady who already has a knife sharpener. Or maybe you're going to make cat notebooks. And you're like, hey, you know what? We're going to show you funny cat videos. By the way, if you love cats, get a cat notebook or whatever it is. Right? So we're going to start to understand this in a real world way. Let's get some more coffee so that it be more crazy. Very good. All right. Now, you got the knife sharpener stuff here. Let's take a look at another one. Let's say you're selling journals. Journals. Here's a gal on TikTok. And again, this works for YouTube, TikTok. We're going to show you other methods as well, even if you don't want to do videos. This gal on TikTok literally just shows people how to journal. Here's how to journal. Here's how to cut and paste stuff. Put it in your journal. Doesn't even have her own website. Go into a link tree. And there it is. 21.5 million likes. 2.1 million followers. That means right now, she can make a video and it goes in front of 2.1 million people who are interested in journaling. What do you think would happen to her income if she went on Amazon and said, I'm going to make a low content journal book, but I'm going to make it about what I teach. I'm going to make it about whatever I'm talking about here. Maybe these horses, or maybe you make a tiny journal or whatever this is. What do you think is going to happen to her, her income if she starts doing that? Here's some people on YouTube. Life-changing journaling happen, uh, habits, journaling techniques, ultimate journal guide. Let's say you wrote a book. You're like, Marcus, I went out there and I got this Amazon book, and it's about the law of attraction and manifesting. Well, here's a guy on TikTok. All he does is talk about manifesting. 20, uh, 12,000 views, 17,000, 55,000. There you go, modern secrets. Simple. There it is. And you start to look at this and you start to understand that there's traffic literally everywhere. Now, the key here, and we're going to talk about another example in a minute. Okay, the key here is to get creative with your marketing. All right? Don't rely on Amazon to pay your bills. They don't like paying their bills or your bills. It's not why they're in business. They're in business to make Jeff Bezos rich and their stockholders lots of money. That's what they do. They don't care about you. But what if we were able to build something using the value of their platform? What if I was able to go out there and say, well, you know what? Maybe I have these journals and maybe I can go out there and I can either make videos or I can make little tips or whatever it is. And all of these things are going to point back to my Amazon journal. And I'm like, hey, get this journal. Or maybe in, or in order to extend this, I get creative with my offer. There we go. What if we do that? What if instead of just offering the journal or the product, I offer an add-on, right? Maybe I could go out there and I could make a bundle. Hey, here you go. If you buy this book, I will give you my planner for free. You could do that. Hey, if you buy this thing, I'll give you my guide for free. Interesting. Or what if we build a list of people who want our stuff? And we start to look at this and we start to understand that, wait a minute, I'm sitting around waiting for Amazon to make me rich, but it's not going to happen. I need to perpetuate my offer. I need to go out there and I need to get creative with my offer and my marketing. I need to build a list of people who want my stuff. So let's say you're out there and you wrote a book. Let's say you're an author and you're like, I wrote a book about therapy or whatever it is. Okay, so you're like, okay, I wrote this book about mental health. Okay, and you're going to find 
that the mental health niche is insane, right? We go over there. That's, that's a weird way to put it, but I actually do think the mental health niche is insane. But we go there and we're like, okay, mental health. And we're like, okay, there's lots of books here about mental health. Here's some Kindle book, um, all kinds of stuff for mental health. Okay, here's a guy here. Look at this one. This one has 47,000 reviews. He sells a lot of books. How many of you guys are like, yeah, that dude sells a lot of books. Body keeps the score. He's selling a lot of books there. All right, but what happens here if we start to look at this in a different way? You want sales of your book? You want to come on over here. You guys want sales of your book? How many of you guys want to sell a book like crazy? How many of you guys want to get lots of people to buy your book? But you're like, it's on the bottom of Amazon and I don't know how to make this work. What am I going to do, Marcus? What, what am I going to do? If I pay for ads, it doesn't make sense because I don't make that much on my book. So how do I sit in here, get in front of people who want my book? Well, here's what you do. You do like your old buddy Marcus did. And let me pull this up off screen here. And you build a list or a group of people who want your stuff. People who want your stuff. So uh, you guys got a book? How, does anyone have a book? Tell me the title of your book. I'll show you how to do this for you. Like, this is a no-brainer. This will work. Like, plain and simple, it will work. It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when. Okay? Tell me the title of your book. So check this out. We're going to go and we're going to look up The Body Keeps the Score, right? That's the book here. So The Body Keeps the Score, 47,000 reviews, okay? Interesting. So I could go read that book and I could do a summary of that book and I could make a little video or a summary about that book, just like I did here for my addiction website, right? 6,000 views. or we could do other books. So what you're going to do, here's how it works. Instead of waiting for Amazon to sell your stuff, what you're going to do is you're going to take your Amazon page. Okay, maybe you got a, a book, maybe you got a physical product, and maybe just maybe this will actually get bigger. There we go. So maybe you got your book, you got your physical product, you got whatever it is. What you're going to do is you're going to take your niche and you are going to find the 20 to 25 books or products. And we'll use books in this example. In your niche that sell a lot. Okay, we want big hidden books. All right? You are going to go out there and you're going to make content about these books. Make it honest, good content. Like on that one, I actually really loved... The Body Keeps the Score book. I thought it was a fantastic book. So I did a review on it. And then I pointed at my stuff. And I'm like, hey, you like my reviews? You like my overviews? Go put your name and email in the box and, you know, whatever. Guess what's going to happen when I come out with my book? Guess what's going to happen? Boom. I'm going to get sales overnight. Sales overnight. Like that. Simple, okay? How many of you guys are like, wait a minute, that's an aha moment right there. I like that. That that That's cool. But wait, there's more. Uh, let's see here. How to raise rabbits. Okay, cool. So you would go out there and you would write reviews on how to raise rabbits. And you would find people or create your own videos about how to raise rabbits. And boom, there you go. Here's a home remedies book. Someone's writing a home remedies book. You go on Amazon, you're like, okay, let's look at remedies. And there's tons of stuff. Okay, you go remedies, remedies. Well, here we go, we'll do remedies. And then you go on YouTube and you talk about the top remedies and you go on TikTok and you talk about remedies and bada bing, bada boom, you are ready to go. What you're doing is you are piggybacking on what's already out there. And if you guys understand it, boom, there you go. Right? This is about deliberately doing this. And what's going to happen if you get sales overnight? Like, it doesn't take that many sales to be 
on the bestseller list for some of these categories. It doesn't. It's not that hard to do. Like a couple hundred sales in one day, boom, you're good to go. And you can deliberately make this happen. That's how they do it. Like how do bestsellers become bestsellers? Well, they go on the Oprah show. Like that's how they're manipulating the game. Oprah says, buy this book. Everyone goes, yes, Oprah said, buy the book. We will go buy the book. Bestseller. It's on the top of the list. It's on the top of Amazon. Boom, bang, done. Multimillionaire overnight. Are you going to be a multimillionaire overnight? Of course not. The results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. Marcus is just an entertainer that knows a lot about making money, but you should never think anything's guaranteed. But if you start to understand this, this is where you get big results. You need to learn how to do things off platform. Get sales off platform. Utilize Amazon because it's a sales page, it's trustworthy, it's easy, and people are addicted to shopping on Amazon. Here's Chip, he says he's got puzzle books. A lot of people make puzzle books. That's a low content kind of thing. Right, you go out there and get, I guarantee you, you want some money, Chip? Come on down, Let, let's talk about this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, listen up. Here's what you do, here's what you do. You color the books or solve the puzzles on YouTube. You don't even have to talk. They're like, here I am making this puzzle. You want to buy this puzzle book? Go here. Here's me solving Sudoku puzzles. There's people doing it. They're doing it right now. Look at this. You can even make a site about Sudoku puzzles. How do you spell that? I don't remember. Sudoku puzzles. Let's see here. Let's see if we can spell correctly. Puzzles. Okay, so you got puzzles here, crossword puzzles, Sudoku puzzles. So you go out there and you make content right here about the puzzles. Make a site. Look at this. Here's a site for coloring, coloring pages. They go out, they got all these coloring pages. They got all this traffic. Do you think for one minute, if I own this site, I couldn't sell my coloring book? I think I'd probably be a bestseller overnight. And you start to look at this and you start to understand exactly what's going on. And it's not hard to do. You just got to go do it. You just color in the lines, fill it in. So here's what you want to do. Get creative with your marketing. Get creative with your offer. Build a list of people who want your stuff. Okay, this is where we get into some marketing where you could actually do paid traffic. So like if I do paid traffic in cheap markets, so paid traffic for like Sudoku puzzles, okay? I can get this traffic super cheap. It's not expensive at all. I get the traffic for Sudoku puzzles. Now what I need to do is I need to find a break even offer, BEO. This is something that's going to pay me for my traffic. So what I do is I get them there. I say, I'm going to give you 100 Sudoku puzzles for free. Yay, great, wonderful. They put their name and email. They go on a list. Then I give them a break-even offer, which is like, hey, get these puzzles for X amount. Or maybe I give them like a, a brain supplement or something to help them solve. But whatever it is, we get creative with it. And we're like, okay, we need a break-even offer so that we get traffic for free. Then we mail our list all these different puzzle books that we created on Amazon. Simple. Or we could do this on YouTube if we don't want to buy traffic. Or we could do this on, on Google. And what you're going to learn is that you can promote your Amazon list or your links. Okay? So here's, here's another thing you can do. You make Amazon top 10 lists. Check this out. You go to the YouTube and there's people doing like Amazon finds. Amazon finds. And like, here's some crap I found on Amazon. Here it is, right? So let's say you got some stuff to sell. And you're like, here's 10 crazy things I found on Amazon that you should probably buy. Guess what you do? Guess what you do? You include yours. There you go. You're like, hey, here's some things I found on Amazon. By the way, number 11 is these cool pants that I found or these cool things that I found. 
And it's very, very, very simple. It's simple. People just don't think about it. People don't think about it. They're just out there saying, well, you know, I put it on Amazon like the guru said, and I didn't get any money. I guess this internet thing doesn't really make money. You know, I, I get people all the time. Some guy last week told me that simple websites don't make money. He's like, Marcus, your website's too simple. It doesn't look flashy and neat. Uh, I think you don't know what you're talking about. Well, let me show you an example of a simple website that makes hundreds of billions of dollars a year. It looks pretty simple to me. It, it actually looks like, if I was to judge it, I'd be like, this is probably built in 1999. I am starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel here. But wait, it actually gets better than that. And if you're ready for the better stuff, smash a like button. Because we're, we're going to dive into this. Here's a secret I learned. If I teach you guys everything I know, you're going to come pay me for specialized knowledge. What does that mean? That means you're going to go out there and you're going to be like, Marcus, I have this specific product to sell on Amazon and I want to pay you thousands of dollars to promote it. That's what I want. All right. But if you just want to learn this stuff, don't worry. This is free. So let me ask you a question. What do you think is going to happen? If you did press releases, videos, images on Pinterest, TikToks, backlinks, all pointing to a site that Google already loves. Google already loves Amazon. They're like, we love you. Here you are, my little friend. And you are going to be on Amazon. And guess what? Your buyers love Amazon. Like I know if I can find something cheaper somewhere else, I won't buy it because Amazon is literally going to throw it out of the truck at me like faster than I can even order it. I know that for a fact. It comes in there in a little smiley face box and I hate buying on Amazon, but I do it because it's easy and convenient. And guess what? You go to the store and they don't have anything in stock. Like I hate it. I go to the office store and I'm like, I want that table. Well, it's going to be about three to six weeks to get that table. Well, then why do you have it on the floor if I got to order it on a website anyway. So then everyone goes to Amazon. But at any rate, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think will happen if you have your page on Amazon? Amazon. Okay, here's your page on Amazon selling your coffee mug or whatever it is. Okay, here's your page. What's going to happen if you have a press release? that says here are the top gifts for Father's Day. And the first gift is the coffee mug on your page, on your coffee mug on Amazon. What do you think is gonna happen if you do guest blogging and those guest blogs point to your product on Amazon? What do you think is gonna happen if you have YouTube videos pointing at your Amazon? What do you think is gonna happen if you have blog posts pointing at your Amazon? What do you think is gonna happen if you have TikTok pointing at your Amazon? What do you think is gonna happen if you have Pinterest Images pointing at your Amazon. It's going to get some sales, isn't it now, buddy? What's going to happen if you have paid traffic pointing at your Amazon? You're going to get some sales. Pretty simple. So what you got to do is you got to understand how this works because you are going to trigger the algorithm that wants sales. It's a big machine. You go out there and you feed the machine money. And you're like, hey, Amazon, check it out. This page makes money. And Amazon's gonna go, well, thank you, little buddy. We're gonna put you at the top because you make money. And that's all Amazon exists to do. That's it. Don't care about anything else. Now, Life Hustle says, Amazon doesn't allow me to create my own page until I show them that I have followers. Well, good, because guess what? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about your product page. This page. Like, this would be this guy's page. This. That's it. That's your page. Where they could buy it. And we're like, wait a minute. So that's the page I promote. Yeah, remember in the beginning I showed you how to copy this? That's the page you promote. Simple. There it is. Easy. And we look at that and we're like, wait a minute. 
So I can actually promote that. And here's another example. I bought this website earlier, actually a domain name. I bought this domain name earlier this week. It was about 350 bucks. And it was for this old toilet paper thing. It was like a how to save toilet paper. If you use too much toilet paper, here's how to save it. Well, if you're using too much, I think that's a good thing. But at any rate, this guy had the product. And the product was not getting sales. But he actually got traffic for toilet paper. But he didn't know how to sell his way out of a paper bag. I told you, ladies and gentlemen, that jokes are free. Don't worry about it. We got you. We got you covered. The jokes are free. So this is a little doodad that costs like two cents to make, probably 30 cents to make, that he sells for a couple bucks to help people save the toilet paper, save the clock tower. And so my question was, if this guy came to me, because I guarantee he's got tons of these in his garage, here in my garage, I got toilet paper roll thingies. All right, and that's, that's here in my garage. You guys get that. If you get that reference, again, remember, ladies and gentlemen, the jokes are free. All right, so my question was, could I sell this? All right, I don't really believe in the product. I don't really care about the product, but could I sell the product? If this guy came to me and he's like, hey, I want you to sell this product. Yeah, I think I could. How? Well, here's some guys on TikTok. 4 million views, 2 million views, 1 million views, 14 million. Now, what we're doing is we are actually rigging the game in our favor because people already trust Amazon. They already do. So if I lead you to my product on Amazon, there's built-in trust already. So like, I don't have to do drop shipping. I don't have to do this other stuff. I could do FBA. I could do low content books. I could do KDP. And I could point people at my stuff in a very simple way. And the key is, is to go off platform to start to get your sales. Go off platform. If you're looking at this stuff, make it work. This is why that guru who went on and made $150 million selling an Amazon course, that's why he came to your old buddy Marcus first and said, how do I sell on Amazon if my stuff ain't selling on Amazon? And I showed him how to do it. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want a copy of that video, download my notes.com. I'm going to upload it. I had to find it. I'm going to upload it and make it work. You guys can watch it tonight, but you got to go to downloadmynotes.com and put your email and name in the box and all that stuff. But if you start to understand this, what we're going to do is we're going to ethically boost our standings. We're going to ethically go out there and show people why our product is good. There we go. We could go out there. We could say, hey, I could make a report about the best toilet paper. I could do a, a video. Like, literally, I could go out in my backyard. Luckily, my backyard's pretty big, so this will work. I could take a pole, and I could put, like, five different brands of toilet papers. And I can make a video about which toilet paper stretches the longest. And then I say, hey, oh, by the way, if you find yourself running out of the TP, check out this toilet paper saver thingamajig. Do you guys get it? Like, I hate that this isn't glamorous. I hate that it's not guru fancy. But this is what pays the bills. This is how this stuff works. Every person you look at that got big online, this is how it works. You say, well, Marcus, I like following Gary V. Well, I find Gary V obnoxious, but some of his info is pretty good. Namely, how he built his wine business. What did he do? He had his business and he's like, okay, what do we do? Well, we sell wine. Sell wine. Wine. That's what he does. And he said, well, there's lots of wine brands that I can review. And what's going to happen is by reviewing all these different types of wine, I am going to get traffic to our site, which in turn sells wine. Not only that, but now I'm the wine guru and people trust me for wine. And I say, hey, you want some wine? You go to my site to get the wine or whatever it is, okay? Now selling wine online is a pain in the butt and there's a lot of legal stuff. I wouldn't do it, but 
you can do this with other products. And if you start to understand that this is how internet business works, and if you start to compile and say, okay, well, I'm going to utilize Amazon alongside this other stuff. I'm going to use Amazon alongside this or that or this or that. And you understand that the power is in the products you point to. The power is in my audience. People come to me all the time. They say, Marcus, I want to do a, a sponsored view, a review video. I'll pay you to do a video on my product. And I say, I don't do that. I do sponsored webinars and they're 20,000 bucks. People sign up like that because the power isn't in their product. It's in the audience. And the quicker you understand that, the quicker all of this is going to come full circle and you'll understand, wait a minute, I can have the greatest product in the world, but if no one sees it, it's not going to sell. Exactly. That's exactly right. Right? Like if you look at it, it's all in the marketing. Why are companies like Ferrari able to sell Ferraris for insane amounts of money with the worst warranty ever? And from what I hear, they spend more time in the shop than they do on the road. Why? Because people want the name. It's what they want. All right, there's far better product. Toyota makes a more reliable product, but nobody, you know, goes, ooh, a Toyota. They don't do it, but it's more reliable. In my opinion, it's a better product. So if we look at this, you start to understand exactly how things work. And you start to understand that, hey, wait a minute, this is about building a business, not just hawking the quickest thing on Amazon to make a buck. And you start to look at this and you start to understand. And guys, I could go out there and I can make top 10 lists and I can make things that are deliberately going to put people to my Amazon links. And when I go out there, I'm like, hey, wait a minute. All I got to do is point to this or point to whatever product it is that I'm selling. All I got to do is find the traffic. If I want coloring pages, there we go. Like traffic for coloring pages is super easy to get. The competition is like nothing. Right? And you could do like adult coloring pages for like meditation or whatever. And you can build it really, really simple. You build it really simple. And you start to understand, wait a minute. This is about these people not waiting around for Amazon to make me rich. So if you want to do Amazon KDP, you want to do Amazon FBA, you want to sell stuff on Amazon, rig the game in your favor by getting traffic off platform and then Amazon will start to promote you. And if you want me to teach you how to sell a product, maybe you got a product or a book and you're like, Marcus, I think you kind of know what you're doing. Like this makes sense. And you know, I, I, I think I can make this work with your help. Go over to highticketniches.com, sign up. I'll help you promote your product. If you want coaching every week, go to blogprofitnetwork.com. We got all kinds of stuff. Very, very simple. And if you want to do Amazon retail arbitrage, it's the same thing. You're just buying products and selling them on the Amazon. That's all you're doing. Um, this works for everything. You just make it work. And surely, if you just got your first book on Amazon, come on over. Go to highticketniches.com. I'll show you how to sell it. Plain and simple. I've been doing this way too long. I know how it works. Yeah, just make it happen. Thanks for watching. Smash a like button. Subscribe, check out the videos in the description for more info on Amazon, and let's make money online together. Thanks for being here, guys. See you next time.